to do pigeons around here every week for them, every day. So they should be here any minute when they see us pull up. Come on, pigeons. I don't even have to really do anything, they're not all come. See, there they go, right on time. It's good to keep that bit of normality, normality in life. As soon as I see the Land Rover pull up, the army come. It's another, what we've got is a lovely day today in the northeast of England. Yesterday it was cold. Today is warm. Tomorrow is going to be cold. What a weird thing to go through in a minute with this weather. But. Oops. Sorry, pigeons. I don't think I'm afraid there. Yeah, they all got a bit of a fright because there were some people that came along. But they're all back here now. They get used to people. More people coming along, never mind. I'll go and come back later. They're very skitty at the moment for some reason. Um, I keep thinking because there's people coming, but it's not that. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a nice day. Nice to be out enjoying things. Um, today's video, I've got a, a member of my clan, um, cyclist just going past, that's what scared the pigeons here, it's not like the pigeons to be this scared, right, get back to what we're talking about, I've got a member of my clan, Jay, he runs a page called Nordic Roots, and he done changed his profile to something he'd used a few times, Thor's hammer, with the uh, the sun wheel behind. Now, this image of the sun wheel is the same one Himmler used. Um, in fact, Himmler is the first reported person that used this, and so it's associated with the SS. Although with the sun wheel. There's that many thousands of variations that must have been used a lot before. Now in Slovakia, they use almost the same sun rule, rune. Um, they look identical when on this picture. Um, so anyway, he got a ban and he complained about it. And uh, they let him back, but give him a warning. Now I find this confusing because I've used that, that same sign he used. Thor's hammer with the, the black sun behind. I run a page um, just for people in the northeast. And that was our main backing sign. So I don't understand how I can get away with it. And you know how many times I've been banned. So, how I can get away with using it, and he can't. Um, I've got a friend in a, in America that runs a, a Iberian family um, traditions. And he puts posts up every day of the gods and the, the Juntons. Um, and he uses the Black Sun on every one of his images, and he hasn't been banned. So all I can think of is that someone reported Jay for using that sign and so they decided to ban him. As I say, he's back on his, his group now, he's uh, he appealed against the ban and won his appeal. Now I've been banned five times for posting runes. So you're probably sick of seeing videos that I make about being banned for posting runes. 
but it was just unusual to see someone that is a house worker, he's clean cut, he's a family man with children, um, he's not a Nazi, none of his posts are Nazi, he's anti-Nazi, his whole page, there's nothing around him Nazi. And yet, the Barnum. Now, Himmler copied his version, or had someone to make his version, copied other people's versions. It wasn't like his, the SS sign, which is also runes, where people associate the SS with um, the German SS. So if I posted the German SS, I could understand it. The swastika, every country, every nation on earth, all the way through history, has used the swastika. But because of the way the Nazis used the swastika, I can understand people banning it. Um, and you never posted the swastika or the SS. But if you start banning every rune the Germans use during the Second World War, the Nazis used. I mean, that's pathetic. And what you also got to remember is the KKK use the cross as a symbol. Now, as far as I know, KKK is the longest running race hate group has ever been. They hate Colards, they hate Mexicans, they hate Jews, they hate probably people of my religion. They're the biggest hate group there is. And they've been going since the late 1800s, and it's 2020 now. And yet, so if you're going to ban someone because a hate group uses it, then surely the cross should be banned. It's about 130, 140 years that was used. And yet the SS and the, all the other stuff, the swastika was only used for six years. Anyway, don't see why you get banned for posting the rune. Uh, if it was made to be anti-Semitic or some kind of hatred, yes, ban it, by all means. But it was never meant to be like that. And his page is not about hate. It's about loving your Nordic roots. Anyway, that's me having a little rant, but not about me for once. Ranting about somebody else. And not somebody else, but what happened to somebody else. Now, I know a lot of you going to say, well, he shouldn't have published uh, the Black Sun Rune. But it doesn't, it, he's not publishing, he's not public, publishing the Black Sun. The Black Sun is just part of the design of the overall thing, which is Thor's hammer. The Black Sun's just the back end of it, which just adds to the design. Um. Anyway, when he first got banned, he didn't know whether it was for Thor's hammer or the Black Sun. Because uh, Jay's just really getting the grips of the whole culture and of, of things at the minute. And I don't think he knew about Himmler and the Himmler's version of the Black Sun, which I think was made in 1933. Um, but he does now. He's learned his lesson. You know, you've just got to bite your tongue like I do when I'm on Facebook. Um I don't publish runes anymore because of that. Because I don't know what runes now Facebook is going to class as offensive. Because I don't find any runes offensive. And if I did, I wouldn't use them. Right, there seems to be a lot more people around at the minute. So I'm just going to have a bit more peaceful day. Still, people aren't wearing masks, They're not wearing gloves, They're not wearing anything. Which is stupidity. Um, because what also upset Brady about getting banned is his uncle just died um, Friday, I think, of the coronavirus. Um, which is the first person I know who's actually a family member has died of it. Brings it home a little bit. And that's why I get so annoyed. You see, they've even got like, kids out. Um, you know, wear gloves, wear mask. Okay, you mightn't believe that's a coronavirus, you might think it's something else completely, doesn't matter. 
If I thought a mask and gloves would save my life, I would wear them. I mean, the main reason, I mean, I've always got gloves with this. You know, I've just took these ones off when I was out before. And the main reason I shave my beard down is so I could get a mask that covered this. I measured, measured where I had to cut it. And the mask fits over here. So I can have my beard and still wear mask and safety. Okay, everyone. Um, I don't know how this video is going to turn out because I've um, had it facing the other way. Normally I have it facing with this. I mean, look at that. There's people out with kids in a buggy. Um, it's just maddening, you know. Okay, then. I'm not going to have a moan. I'm going to end on a good note. Um, I'm going to tell you as a joke. Right. I don't really know any. I hope you enjoyed my video yesterday, by the way. Where the one about me and schizophrenia, I thought that was really funny. Um, I can't think of a joke. You know when you put us on the spot? I will think the one more. Hmm. Yeah, I've just thought of one, but, um, right, there was a bishop but a nun. And that's too rude. So I'll talk to you all later. Have a good day. Hail the gods. Hail Thor. <gasps> I've just remembered a little poem. And it involves the gods. And it involves Thor. He shouted. But this is a poem that goes like, I'm Thor, he cried, mighty god of war, sitting on his filly. I'm Thor, he cried, and his horse replied, Then get a saddle, silly. Sorry for anyone with a lisp, didn't find that offensive. I've got one more joke, which is all find offensive. But never mind. Guy goes into the doctor's to get a medical. The doctor says, I've got some good news and some bad news. And he says, well, let's have the bad news, Ains. He says, you've got COVID-19 and you've only got three days to live. And he says, well, what's the good news? He says, ah, you've got Alzheimer's. You'll forget about it tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. Uncalled for. Toodles.